is some good news for many of the thousands of New Yorkers who are counting on unemployment benefits to make ends meet. The state has closed a potential costly loophole. Ilan Malamed looks at how the Labor Department is trying to do what's right. I have good news for New Yorkers who have been assessed forfeiture days. The Department of Labor is suspending forfeiture days for people claiming unemployment during the COVID-19 pandemic. A forfeiture day is a penalty. The state withholds benefits for a specified period if someone knowingly claimed extra unemployment benefits at one point. But now the state owes New Yorkers. They owe me about $3,000. Hannah Sentner of Arcade has been unemployed for two months. She says she paid back extra benefits years ago, which is why she was shocked to see the word forfeit on her account week after week week after week. Honestly, I had completely forgot about it. I got a job and went back to work almost four years ago. State Senator Monica Martinez says the system didn't recognize people who already paid back the extra money. Benefits were also withheld from New Yorkers who still owed the state. Imagine yourself not having a paycheck in nine weeks. Martinez advocated for the suspension of forfeiture days, writing a letter to the commissioner a month ago. We're not saying don't return it. You, you will have to return that money. This is no excuse. But at the same exact time, they need to live and they need to survive. Department of Labor Commissioner Roberta Reardon. Individuals will begin receiving the full benefits they would otherwise be eligible for. The payments should begin arriving in the next two weeks and will include back pay through today's date. Senator says she's grateful, but still endured weeks of no pay. Thank you for waiving the forfeit days, finally, but... Yeah, it is a little too late. Senator Martinez says people who still owe money to the state will have a certain percentage taken out of their unemployment benefits. Gilat Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.